what's going on guys, Brian here. Um, I'm back at it again with creating new tutorials or new coding tutorials. Um, sorry for not uploading often because I was quite busy before I was uh, getting ready for college and whatnot. But um, I have more time now and I'm going to be uploading more videos soon. And yeah, for today's video, I will be doing a tutorial on how to pass data between view controllers using Swift 3. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, I opened up the Xcode beta without using the official version because the official version does not have Xcode 3 in it. So if you already have the beta, just open the beta version, whatever version you have, whether it be 5.0, 6.0, whatever one that you're watching this video at. Or if you're watching this video and the official version came out already, just use the official version. All right? So if you don't have the beta, down the beta. And open it up, create a new project, you know what we do. Single view application is fine. So yeah, let's get started with this. Um, I went to my storyboard, right? So I have a blank view controller here. Let's create another one here so we can pass data between one another. Um, I'm going to add a label to the second one just to show you that data is actually being passed between each other. So I'm going to just extend this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. My OCD is going to make me want to make it perfect. So I'm going to align this perfectly. Zero, 0, and then uh, I'm going to uh, align it center and horizontally in the container. Or oh, horizontally and vertically, or whatever. Okay. Now I'm going to create another class to handle this view controller. Go to Coco Dutch class, view controller be a second VC. Right. Finish. Okay. Great. So we can get rid of this boilerplate code because we don't need that. Go back to the storyboard so we can set up this view controller. Uh, set the class with view controller to be second VC. All right. Open up assistant editor. Go to this view controller. Connect the label. Okay. Let's just call this uh, my label. Call it whatever you want, but we're just teaching you how to do it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, next. I think that's it, pretty much for that. All right, let's go back to the main view controller over here. Get rid of this because we don't need that. All right, so we're going to pass in uh Actually, before we go into the code directly, we need to add stuff to the first view controller. Let's add a text field so we can input data so we can pass over to the next view controller. Make this somewhat big. Okay, and it's from the top, 104. Uh, the width is okay, and then let's horizontally line the container. Good, that's good there. Then let's add a button. Uh, just put it right there, it doesn't really matter. Let's say uh, send, uh, actually go to second VC. Now what, that, what this button is going to do is when we click it, right, it's going to segue to this view controller, but we're going to pass in whatever data is in here, or whatever string is in here, to this label. Okay. Uh, let's set some constraints for this one as well. We don't need to set the width already because it's already compact already. Got that. And then let's hold out the landing container. It should be blue now. Good. Everything's set. Now let's connect these elements to code. Drag this text field to the top. I'll just call this my text field or whatever you want. Connect the button. Instead of an outlet, we're going to make this an action. Say go to second BC. All right, yeah. All right. Okay. Now, let's go to the main BC now. All right. So, when we press this button, we're going to grab whatever text is in here, and then we're going to pass it over to the next BC or second BC. okay? So we press this button, right? We're going to uh, get whatever text is in my text field. So let uh, user input equal to my text field dot text. Okay. Then you want to uh, say perform segue with identifier. Uh, we didn't set up the segue yet, but we'll do that in a minute. So I'm just going to call this with the identifier go to second PC. The sender here is going to be user input. Okay. Take this. I'm going to explain what this is in a minute. Uh, let's go to the storyboard first. 
Okay, click your first view controller, the yellow icon right here. Control click, drag it over like you will create a normal segue. Hit show. Alright. Now we it created the segue right here. Now if you click right here in the the attribute inspector, right? An identifier for this segue, we'll just paste that in, whatever we said before. Okay, now that's set up. Go back to the code. Alright, now what we're doing here is right, we're storing the text that's in the my text field, whatever the user inputs, right? Into the content called user input. And then we're performing a segue, which we just set up before with the identifier. This is the identifier. And then the sender is what the data we're sending over to the next view controller, right? So as you can tell, we're sending the user input to the other view controller. Now, you may think it's really, is it really that simple? Not quite yet. We need to do a couple more lines of code and then we'll get it working. So we need to say prepare for segue right here. Okay. Now we're going to have to check to make sure the segue is that so maybe we gotta check if the segue identifier is equal to this identifier. So let's say if segue it's spot right if segue the identifier equal equals to go to second uh, go to second you see okay then we're gonna make sure the destination is the second you see so let's say destination equals to uh segue that destination as second PC. Okay. Now it's compiling here to that situation. Uh oh it was never used, it's okay. Alright, so now we have the, the second VC now. Uh, let's go back to the second VC view controller, the code wise. Let's uh, create a variable to hold the data that's gonna be passed over. So let's say pass data. Alright, we're going to set this to be text string. Alright. Now when the view loads, right? Uh, we're going to want to set the my label that text to equal to pass data. All right, that's good. Now let's go to the controller here, and we're going to say, um, we're going to say destination dot my label. No, pass data equals to segue dot. Wait, segue as string. Cast some URS over to the other string always fails. Equals to Oh that segue sender. What am I doing? Sender as a string. Okay, there we go. That should work. Now I'm just gonna print out uh this whatever's in the sender value, so sender value. And we'll pass in sender. Okay, I'm going to run this on the iPhone SE. I'm going to run it. You could run it on whatever device, doesn't really matter. All right, let's hit run. Wait for this to build. All right, there we go. It appeared now. Okay, let's click the text field now. Um, the keyboard didn't appear because I disabled the hard. The, the software keyboard, but I'm using the hardware, my actual physical keyboard. Um, if you want to enable the software version, just click that, that should pop up. Uh, I'm going to just say uh, hello world. There we go. All right, when I click go to the second VC, we should see hello world appear in the label in the second VC. Go here, boom. There we go. Data was just sent over to the other one. Now, if you don't believe me and that I just set that up, I'm going to go back to the storyboard. Then I'm going to clear this out. And I'm going to set the background color to uh, uh, make it that blue. That's a nice blue. Uh, set this one to, I don't know, make it a green color. There we go. Nice colors. All right. Let it run. Okay, now it's loading up, boom, green. Okay, anything in here, we're gonna say this worked. This works. All right, when you click test right, it should go to this view controller. 
and this is going to appear in the label that we put over here in the second VC. Ready? Boom. Now it appeared, and that's how you pass data. Now, of course, this is a very simplistic or basic version of how to pass data between controllers. You can go more in depth with it. You could pass in the, uh, objects that contain other data, uh, dictionaries, arrays, uh, pretty much anything, integers, anything, anything you can think of. You you figure it out. But this is like the most basic way of passing data between view controllers. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Like and subscribe for more content, and yeah, see you in the next one.